but I, I really wanted to talk a little bit about the the factory race team. When Yamaha came to Bandis and said, okay, I want you, we want Riva running the race team, and they handpicked. And they started cherry picking guys, and they got Jacobs, and they got Tara, and they've got Matsuras, and um guy, I'm I'm uh, oh, geez, Judge. They got the head judge on there. And, I mean, it was a who's who of just monster racers. When did you come in? Uh, I came in in 97 when they um, – when Tara – I believe Tara and I – 97, 97. So Tara and I both went from ProTech in 96, if I remember correctly, to um, – Re- no, we went to Kawasaki. What do we do? When 96, we were at ProTech. 97, we went to Riva. Okay. Tara and I. And that's when we partnered up with Darren Hedlund. All right. Darren Hedlund, when he came from Polaris into Yamaha and yeah. brought that two-stroke pipe technology, that's when shit started happening. That's when the boat yeah. started going faster. Because up until then, we had... You know, ProTech made a good engine. Riva made a great engine. Uh, I think the Riva pipe was working really well. But I remember at the lake in Fort Lauderdale when we were testing. And, you know, it was um, it was, good, it was a good day of testing. And Tim, Darren, and there was a little bit of, you know, ego clashing going on there. But by the end of the day, when that... Um, what was it? A GP 1100? 1100. 1100. Okay. I think it was 1100. It was a GP 1100 went from like 65 in the morning to 75 in the afternoon. Like That's those guys cool. were like, you know, celebrating like, yeah. And yeah, then, it, so. and, and then when we, we raced, uh, Hall Dow's that year, Darren and, uh, I believe Tim, were and with Mike Hodges were up in the morning testing at this lake along the 95 and they were testing the 760 and the 760 had a you know the red Riva pipe up until Darren fitted it with one of his pipes and that thing just came to life that next you know race in the Holiday Isles and you know we were able to do really good we had a lot of MSD problems that year yeah and, uh, I was constantly throwing my seat off thinking it was exhaust Okay. And then they started bitching about me throwing my seat off and, you know, Fischetti and Pops were getting upset and saying I was trying to throw it at them. It's just goofy stuff, but, you know, all, all good fun. But, yes, it was uh, – uh, Darren definitely brought those skis to life with his exhaust. And then, you know, like he did with the Polaris's. When I went and tested one of his Polaris's one time, it was just insane. I was coming off like a Yamaha Wave Raider, which was one of the biggest, you know – whatever you want to call it, you know, to this day and then getting on a Polaris. And that's when like Frank and um, all those guys were on that Polaris factory team. Yeah. With the triple pipes. It's yeah. like all snowmobile technology. Uh-huh. They, were, they, they were whole shot and stuff. And there was none of that in jet skiing. And then yeah. Darren, Darren came from Polaris. He went to Yamaha for a year and educated them. And then Darren and I went from, uh, Riva that year and it was sad because you remember stud Steve Lawler like I had to tell him at the end of the year and it was hard because we had such a great relationship over you know uh, seven years together at Yamaha he was there when yeah. I first started with ProTech when I was riding X2 still and uh, you know all that testing and you know dealer shows getting in trouble and just having fun and you know I he took me to you know concerts out in California and I'll I'll never forget that day because we both like, you know, hugged it out and cried. And, you know, he's like, stud, stud, you know, I said, stud, I, I you know, this is business. And um, yeah. I went to Kawasaki and uh, Darren came with me and uh, we lived out in Havasu and Darren got, Kawasaki did have triple pipes on their skis, but they were the water, uh, they weren't water jacketed. They were just regular pipes. Really? And, yeah. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. Tom, okay. It was Tom Morgan who was doing that stuff, 
And then Darren just pulled that shit out and, you know, said hell with it. And he came in and brought his pipes. And he had a guy that was from like Minnesota. Darren would do the, you know, the dynoing, get the spec perfect. And then he had a guy named uh, Chops because that's what he did. He chopped up the pipes, weld them, right. and fit them in the boat. And this guy was, you know, he was, he was rough, but he was, yeah. you know, he was like, like probably a guy that hunted moose or tackled moose. And, <laughs> you know, and, but great guy. It was a, uh, so he got um, all that stuff lined up at Kawasaki. We were, you know, Kawasaki, you know, the skis were starting to fly. And, and, you know, uh, you know, of course, Bill Chapin claimed it all in the end. You know, so. <laughs> well, that's Bill. <laughs> yeah. And, no, Bill, uh, Bill definitely, you know, once Darren came over, because Bill always, you know, when, when there was a smart person around, Bill always, you know, was like a magnet. And was oh, right yeah. too, and you know, and he definitely helped us out, and you know, he was building obviously scoop crates and stuff like that, and you know, handling parts for us, and you know, because he helped out that team a lot, and he had a great relationship with like a uh, uh, Kanamori, so right. uh, he he definitely was a you know help to us back then. Hey guys, thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.